Now regarding the medical aspects, the issue arises that it is strangulation, that death is because of strangulation and if it is strangulation then it is suicide, homicide or accidental. To decide whether the death is due to strangulation, usually the crime scene study and other finding that there is no interference <clears throat> because only by studying the body we cannot decide. So visiting the scene of crime is most important and the presence or absence of ligature only on this finding we cannot decide. If the ligature is not present, with this doesn't mean that the suicide has not happened. So simply on the ligature we cannot discuss. The problem arises when the decomposition start because the findings are on the soft tissues of the neck and when the decomposition starts we cannot decide and that creates a problem. And sometimes the females wearing the ornaments they get depressed into the swollen tissues because of the putrefaction and they give an impression of ligature. So all these can mislead. In fresh bodies the careful dissection layer by layer is important to decide about the nature whether it is anti-mortem or post-mortem. <coughs> Simply on the external finding we cannot decide and other asphyxial findings should be seen. Now regarding the occurrence that it is accidental, suicidal or homicidal. Accidental strangulation is uncommon. Un it has seen in children uh, having the birth with the cord around the neck and they get strangulated. And in adults sometimes it can happen during the work they get strangulated by any uh, material which is at work especially in the factories, in the workshops they it can happen but it is rare. Then suicidal strangulation is not common. It cannot because if someone is pressing his own neck as soon as he compresses he will be powerless and the force of a ligature will be lost. So to commit suicide with ligature strangulation is uncommon and not possible <clears throat> because to effect the suicide there may be much power required and as soon as the person tries to tie himself he will be powerless and he will not be able to compress. In homicidal strangle, strangulation is usually it is homicidal, it is homicidal. And this is the most common method of causing death or the murder. And it should always be assumed homicidal unless you get some clue to exclude it out, to, to rule it out. But it should be taken as always homicidal. And suspicion of homicidal always arises when the knot is tied on the back of the neck mouth is gagged, the limbs are tied and there are other injuries on the body that shows the signs of struggle. The person was alive, he was aware of the fact that some is going to kill him, he will try to rescue himself, he will fight and there will be injuries of self-defense and these are the signs of struggle. And in females, if they are sexually assaulted before uh, being strangulated. So material which is readily available that is usually used and that can be uh, anything, nylon, stocking, panty, scarf, ligature, that can be made with these material which is readily available. 
and sometimes the tearing of the clothes at the appropriate uh, part for performing of the sexual assault will be seen. Then extensive injuries are more common. Infanticides, usually fetus, his own umbilical cord is used if it is homicidal. So the most important point is that homicidal strangulation may be committed with silence. That means it immediately makes the person powerless, thoughtless. Even he thinks to get himself free, he cannot. He cannot call for help. So immediately if someone strangulates, the person will be powerless, thoughtless and will not be able to free. So this is important that it appears as that strangulation is committed in such a silence that even the person in close vicinity, it has seen, we have gone through a case that the two person were sleeping on one bed and one person was strangulated, the other didn't know. And the reason being that the person who was strangulated, he was immediately powerless, thoughtless and could not utter a word, call of, of help. <clears throat> because sudden and violent occlusion of windpipe rendered the person powerless to call for help. Accidental strangulation is rare, but circumstances will explain. <clears throat>